Hi, today we'll draw the graph for for fx is equal to x into mod x. So this is this is the product of two functions, x, an algebraic function, and mod x. So clearly the domain of a function is x belonging to real numbers. That is, x belongs to minus infinity to infinity, and so will be the output. Had it been only mod function, then everyone knows that mod function is a close interval of zero to open interval of infinity. But because of x present here as a product, the range is also the real numbers. So both domain and range are minus infinity to infinity. Now, before making the graph, we will convert this into branches. We know that, everyone knows that mod x is minus x when x is less than zero and x when x is greater than or equal to zero. This is positive x when x is greater than or equal to zero and equality in, in mod function comes with greater than sign. And now coming on to the function, so when I have to make branches for the function, then automatically fx will be x times of mod x, that is x into this and x into this. So in terms, the branches for the function will be minus x square when x is a negative quantity and x square when x is a non-negative number. So we will make tables and then we will make graph for it. Tables. The first is y is equal to fx which is equal to minus x square when x is a negative quantity. So we will make table with the, with the numbers, negative numbers starting with say minus 0.1. This, the square and then a negative sign outside will take it to minus 0 0.01. If I put minus 1, the square of minus 1 is 1, but outside is a negative, so it will be minus 1. For minus 2, it is minus 4. Same way, minus 3, it is minus 9. So it is a downward parabola. So the second table will be when x is x squared, when x is greater than equal to 0. And I again uh, make a table, but this time uh, from non-negative values. So it could be 0 and 1.1 and 1.7, but I'm taking 0, 1, 2 so that uh, this, this values, uh, uh, will be, these values will be positive and it will be in the first quadrant. So this is the upward uh, parabola. It's time now to plot the graph. These are the tables and using these tables we know that this is the upward parabola for non-negative numbers and a downward parabola for a negative number. Clearly the input and output is in the third quadrant and this is in the first quadrant. So I'm now taking non-negative values starting with 0 here and 0, when we put 0 the answer is 0 comma 0, when we put 1 it is 1, when we put 2 it, it turns to 4. So the graph is something like this, so it is the upward parabola, so something like this. Same way for the, for the uh, downward parabola, when we put uh, minus 0.1 it is turning to minus 0 0.01 which is here. And uh, minus 2, when we put minus 2, it turns to minus 4, somewhere here. So it is like this. So this is the downward parabola. This is the downward parabola. Oops. Uh, I draw it once again. So same way. It, it has the same nature. So it, this is the downward parabola. So this is the graph. Same way, like this. So this is upward parabola for non-negative values and downward parabola for negative values. So this is the graph for y is equal to x into mod x. Thank you very much.